Hey guys, uh, we got kind of lucky in the last series, so we're going to go ahead and play another one. Also, the last one had a lot more of me playing Warrior than I would like, so we're going to play some fun decks now. So we're going to start off with Fatigue Mage. And as long as he's not playing Hunter, this should be a, this should be an entertaining game. If he is, we're just going to lose immediately. If this is Ramp Druid, it's fine. If this is Combo Druid, we are going to get destroyed. Because, um, unless we get Death Lord. We're actually gonna mulligan everything for Death Lord. Oh, misclicked. Oh well. Sheep is fine. Double Sheep is more than fine. Um, but we really want Death Lord here. And Sludge Belcher and Taunts. Um, and we'll be able to figure out pretty soon if it's Combo or, uh, just the Ramp Druid. Hopefully it's just the Ramp version, because then we can just freeze everything and not care. Um, he has, he's playing Double Keeper, like, almost definitely. So that makes Doomsayer way worse. But, um... We'll see what we can do here. This sheep, though. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. Go away. Polymorph. I'm just gonna pass here. Kind of un it's kind of unfortunate that Ramp Druid is just the... There's so much of it on ladder now. Um, just gonna ping. No reason to run these out for him to just clear, and no reason to Frostbolt face. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that there's so much of this on ladder, and also so much Hunter, and that Hunter's really bad for Warrior now. Uh, a lot of the decks I like to play are really bad on ladder now, so I've fallen a little bit. Um, and then I'm climbing back by playing like the decks that are actually good right now, like the Ramp Druid. But um, it's not as fun. Fatigue Mage is great, but it's on ladder except for Hunter matchups where it's really pretty awful. Uh, I'm just gonna ping face again. Once again, no point. He didn't have Wild Growth. Um, he might have Innervates, but no Wild Growth is good for us. Um, that means we'll be able to keep up mostly. We also need to draw our Taunts and Duplicates and Cold Light Oracles. He just drew Wild Growth. Um, again, Echo's cool, but we don't have any creatures yet, so that makes it kind of awkward. Um, and counterpicking this with Warrior is obviously bad, so we're gonna counterpick this with our Druid deck. That's interesting. So I don't think this is Combo Druid, this is more of like a tech card. Um, and the... Actually, I don't know. That just confuses me. Oh, we're gonna just Frostbolt this. And ping him in the face. We really need to draw some sort of creature type thing. Right now our hand is just a bunch of sheep. Some AoE. Belcher's fine. We're just gonna polymorph it now. We don't want his board to get too out of control before we draw some sort of taunt. And we also want to set up like Sheep Sheep Echo or something like that. Um, you can also play Sheep and run out of Duplicate. Seven's kind of awkward now because Ancient of Lore is actually really bad in this matchup because he doesn't want to draw more cards. Yeah, so he's playing the uh, just the ramp version and not the combo one, which is good for us. This is kind of hard to kill though, so we're gonna play... We have seven cards in our hand, so if we play this, we go up to eight. Doomsayer. BGH is actually kind of bad here because, um... Uh... Well, because it's bad. So if we play this, we are currently at... Nine cards. So if we play this, and at least this gets duplicated, we're gonna overdraw. So I am just going to Frostbolt this and then ping it, because we need to kill it as fast as possible. Um, I hate this glitch where the, the sound gets stuck. So next turn he's probably going to play some creatures, then we're going to Blizzard. And then we can develop the duplicate, because we'll be playing our cards at a fast enough rate. Um, hopefully he uses Keeper to clear this. Oof. Oof. Okay. Oh, he's going to use Wrath to clear this, most likely. Innervate. Okay, so we're definitely just gonna on the on the AOE train now. 
Um, we got the blizzard. Um, if we play Doomsayer now, he's just gonna keeper it. But if he keepers our Doomsayer, that means next turn we get to play. Sheep, sheep, echo, or something along those lines. Um, I actually think just pinging this is better. We're gonna pass because if we ping this, we can completely clear the board with flame strike ping this and run this in. And these are two of his biggest threats. Um, basically, we just need him to not draw Kelthuzad because then we would not be able to clear the Kelthuzad and we would lose. Okay, good. Uh, that actually means we can't clear this immediately, but that's still fine. Um, he didn't use it to filter, which means he's playing around um, us fatiguing him out very, very early. Which is probably good. Um, we're just gonna cone of cold here. Um, no reason to really run out the heal bot. And we're just gonna ping this, setting up for that flame strike, and we're gonna develop our duplicate. So this is looking pretty good for us so far. Um, once again, Kel'Thuzad is scary, but next turn we just get to completely clear the board. Please don't be Kel'Thuzad. Scenarius is also awful for us. Oh boy. How much damage is this? That's only 19. That is why we are going to go for this play. Oh. Um. So we get two more off the duplicate. So he's going to pop them all. Kel'Thuzad's going to bring everything back. Actually, that was kind of bad. I thought for some reason I had enough mana to play the last one. Um, clearly, I did not. At least our opponent's kind of confused now, maybe. Oh, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. This way, though, we get to kill the Kel'Thuzad. But our opponent had double swipe. I actually, um... We're gonna go ahead with the Wisp Druid deck. Although... Warrior is actually fine against Ramp Druid because we have Black Knight in there, but um, we'll go ahead and go with this deck. Play the mirror. That was a shame. We made a mistake there, but he had lethal basically no matter what we did. This is a very good hand. Um, I'm going to mulligan the low thub here, but Violet Teacher plus Power of the Wild really early when he can't contest it is very strong. Um, if we get an Innervate, this hand just becomes insane. But we're just gonna Wild Growth on turn 2, then on turn 3 we're gonna play this, and then we can coin some, some crazy stuff. We can, like, uh, coin the Swipe plus Power of the Wild, and just make a bunch of dudes. Gonna Wild Growth. Also, Dark Whispers plus Power of the Wild is kind of kind of good if he doesn't have double swipe. He's probably playing Ascension. So hopefully he doesn't he doesn't have a way to clear this. But um, even if he does, then next turn we get to play another one then coin power of the wild. But hopefully he doesn't. Um, it looks like he does have a wrath. Probably. Maybe not. 
Maybe we just coin Dark Whispers onto this. Yeah, it looks like he does have... Uh, keeper, okay. Well, now doing this isn't actually great because, um... Because he can just clear the that with a 2-2, so we're gonna swipe plus coin hero power here. Um, and hopefully he doesn't have a great turn 6 play. And now we might just go for Dark Whisper's Power of the Wild, we'll see. It's good that we have an Ancient Lore lets us draw cards, get ahead. We're lo really looking for our Keeper so we can silence his 5-10s and his Kelpizod if it comes to that. Um, hopefully he doesn't have a great play for this turn. Looks like a pretty good play. Okay. I'm gonna save that. There's a pretty high likelihood he has a swipe now. And doing this once again isn't great, so we're just gonna play Lothab. But it trades with this. It's a shame he had some some kind of bumps in um, in our start, so he couldn't do as many cool things. It's good that he's just trading. It's probably, um, Ancient of War, then. <laughs> this guy. Okay, so now we're just gonna play this, and then next turn we can Dark Whispers Power of the Wild. And we do have two of these now to, um, clear his scary cards, like Kel'Thuzad and stuff. If you play this, that likely means he doesn't have an Ancient of War. Which is good for us. What's happening here? He might just Wrath and then clear. That's probably what that card is. That's what he's thinking about. Maybe not. Uh, but I mean, we've drawn a lot of cards. We have some cool stuff we can set up now. Yep. So that card wasn't Wrath. That card was the creature he was thinking about playing. And is now probably going to play. Belcher. Sure. We can set up a pretty cool Violet Teacher turn with Innervate. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's just do this, because this threatens lethal if we draw Savage Roar. And it just establishes a solid board. Now we can Wrath or Silence that to clear it. Um, we have Innervate to also play an Ancient Lore or something else that turn, and we just have a bunch of 2-2s beating down on him. Uh, now we just really want to draw Savage Wars and combo. Does he really have double swipe, or is he just... Okay, good. I would have been kind of mad. He doesn't have another swipe, so let's let's take the chance and grab some value here. So we could use this to draw a card here, but I'm not super ecstatic about using Innervate for that purpose, so... Probably just gonna Ancient Lore next turn and try to Innervate into a Savage Roar. Um, hopefully he doesn't draw another swipe, would be kind of unfortunate, but if he doesn't, it's looking pretty good. We have two silences for his taunts. Um, he's looking for that swipe. What are these cards, I wonder? Is 
We still haven't drawn any combo pieces, we're playing the full four, so... So we definitely want to silence this, we also kind of want to draw cards though. Um, I guess we can do both. It's not horrendous. We can also just kill this. I, I like clearing this, so I'm going to silence it, then I'm going to clear it. But first I'm going to draw two cards. Well, actually, first I have to silence it, because w when I innervate, I'll get a 1-1. One, one, and my board's full right now. Oh, actually I can silence it, clear it, then draw two cards. Okay. Another innervate. Yeah, let's get a full board going. Four of these 13 cards are combo pieces, and there's another Power of the Wild too, and Scenarios. So there's a lot of good cards we can draw right now. And we still do have the other Silence for for that, I guess. <laughs> Taz Dingo. Also, if we draw Savage Roar, we just win. Uh, not quite what we're looking for. Um, we're gonna have to get some guys out of the way so we can play the the keeper. We're gonna silence the Sylvanas, so then we're gonna clear it. We're gonna run out the BGH just because uh, that deck doesn't play anything that gets hit by BGH. Um. Is there actually a point to leaving this stealth? Not really, because he has a lot of other things to clear, so we're just going to hit him in the face. And once again, we just really need to draw... Savage Roar. And Force of Nature type things. Sure. Is he going to innervate out hero power? Yeah. We're going a long time without drawing any combo type thing. Scenarius is also good. Doctor Boom. Really just any good cards would be great. Force of Nature. Force of Nature is one damage off lethal, but I do want to clear that, so I'll take it. And we still have both our swipes too. So there's actually a very low chance of us not killing him soon. Probably. Maybe. Who knows. Um, so he needs a taunt. Um, that is a taunt. We can just hard clear that though. With shade. Yeah, so he's dead now. Uh, looks like we'll be going to a third game. I wonder what he's going to counter pick us with. Um, probably an aggro deck. Paladin. Okay, we actually have a... Um, I actually don't love keeping this without ramp. Do we keep Harrison? I think we just ship all this back for wild growth and innervate. Keeping those cards would be good, but also really greedy. Um, well I didn't really get rewarded for that, but swipe is good against um, Mustard for Battle. And Dr. Boom, we also didn't draw Savage or last game, so we probably will this game. We're just gonna pass. I want to save coin. We might make a 3-2, we might not. Depends. Now we definitely won't, because that's shield. Shielded mini bot. 
It's making it really hard for us to establish board presence. It's popped up Iron Shield. This will let us heal back, so that's not a huge issue. If he musters, we're definitely coining swipe on the zombie champ. Could also. We could coin swipe there. We could coin Violet Teacher, but then dies to True Silver Paladin. We could also hit there, or True Silver Champion, not Paladin. This is better against True Silver Champion too. I think we just um, we also want to save this for Tyrion. I think we're just going to we're gonna swipe. This is our basically our plan for winning. Um, Shredder comes off the top. We're gonna save our second swipe. Can play Nack Shade. Um, I think I'm just gonna clear that and make a three two. And that's a much better way to um, check for weapons, I think. He's probably not going to want to trade, so this will get a live. If he musters and makes a guy that we can swipe. Plays Belcher. Well, I mean, this could be going better. Um, I guess we just silence the Belcher. And hope... Um, hope that that's a Doomsayer, I guess. At least it's just a 2 2, probably. Be playing Beasts. Stampeding Kodo. Stampeding Kodo would be such a blow right now. But, um. Yeah, we just have to try to recover on board, sort of, in time to uh, combo, combo off. Him mustering and making a soldier all in one turn definitely plays a big part in that, since then we get to swipe plus hero power to clear. That's not helpful. What do we want to draw here? Wrath, maybe. Um, Druid of the Claw. Maybe this one will make a Doomsayer. Passed without hero powering. Um, it's probably a mistake on his part. Um, just misclicked or something. This is only 7 damage, and he can't deal us 9. So what we're going to do here is we're going to clean, clear the Hyena, innervate Dr. Boom, and hope to draw another Savage Roar and hope he doesn't clear it. And if he does spend his board or other resources clearing it, we can um, heal with this and start re-establishing a board. Um, the only worst case scenario is um, Equality, Consecrate, both the bombs hit face, or BGH, Consecrate, both the bombs hit face. Really anything involving both the bombs hitting face and all these creatures dying. Um, it does not look like my opponent has said cards. Our opponent has his own Doctor Boom. Savage or wins. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, I mean, to stay alive, we have to swipe. So we're gonna swipe first there. And see what happens. Ow. Okay, okay. That, that is an acceptable result. is bad. Oh god. Uh, he probably has true silver champion, we just lose. I strongly expect that's the end result here. Uh, 
Oh dear god. I know it's gonna hit me. Yup. Okay guys, uh, that was our second series, so you got to see, um... Got to see all of our decks, um... So I'll post a link to all the decks I played and their guys on Tempo Storm respectively, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, these series, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.